And I believe that, I want to believe that he's doing this in good faith. Uh, Mr. Speaker, indeed when Senator Chararge and Senator Boni Halwale came for the meeting on Friday, I treated them with the highest decorum and gave them opportunity to make submissions and they can testify to this. Mr. Speaker, while we were there, the DCI, who was a witness in that meeting, requested that we visit the headquarters so that we can see the points they are making. And they requested it in camera. Senator Halwale was there. Senator Cherarge was present. We told them we will consider the request. The other witness who came was Pastor Ezekiel. He also made the same request that he will go to, he will want to invite Senator Fonandi, what the is committee. your point of order? Senator Mgatana just yield. Thank what you. is your point of order, Senator Fonandi? <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, standing on the 101105, it is, this is a very sensitive and emotive matter. Yeah, correct. Dragging the holy name of Senator Cherarge is very dangerous. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the chair, the chair, the chair should say I was present before the presence of the parliament when witness appeared. I was not present in Mavueni in Kilifi. So that people don't get confused. I was not part of it, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Please, I cannot be the innocent, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I cannot be the, inno the innocent. Among the innocent people will be crucified with Jesus, Mr. Speaker. I cannot be. Uh, Sen Senator Mgatana, as, as, as you mention names, as you mention names, try to be very specific. Mr. Speaker, the, the problems, the, the, the problem with uh, my colleague, uh, Cherarge, is that when you are making submissions in this house, he is consulting. Ta, 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 ta. He is not following what is happening. So he is totally out of order. Because I, I, I mentioned, Mr. Speaker, and let's get serious, that we were, there was a request from the DCI and a request from Pastor Ezekiel that was made that we make a visit so that whatever evidence they were giving us, which was crucial evidence, Mr. Speaker, we would see for ourselves the challenges and the issues that were there. So, Mr. Speaker, after the meeting, we sat as senators, and, and Mr. Speaker, I take full responsibility for this. We sat as senators, and most of us, the majority of us, except those who are absent, we say, look, our time for this committee comes to an end on Thursday. We only, and this is Friday night. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Mr. Speaker, today, we have been interacting with the report. We came here, but we'll go back until we finish. Tuesday, Mr. Speaker, we had given summonses to witnesses who had not come so that they can appear. So the only practical day was Monday. And Mr. Speaker, because the members were there, I made the decision that we shall visit the DCI and we shall visit the Pastor Ezekiel. And while we were in Kilifi, we shall visit the County Security Committee after we finish with Ezekiel. Mr. Speaker, we then asked our clerk of the committee to go and seek the normal procurement procedures. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I also made a phone call to our clerk, the, the clerk of the Senate, to ask him if he can make urgent arrangement for travel for us. While we were waiting, because it was evening, we said there's only one day remaining for us to be able to cover the cost and to cover DCI. We then agreed that if it is possible, in the normal manner, 
of operations. We can go up and beyond our call of duty to visit DCI and visit uh, the security committee in Kilifi and visit uh, Emmanuel. And Mr. Speaker, we then traveled, Mr. Speaker, with the understanding that in the event that procurement procedures not to have been complied with, once we come back, we shall regularize, as is always the case. Mr. Speaker, it's not the first time, personally, I have even traveled out of this country. And because of exchequer Senator issues, or exchequer Senator delays. Senator Mgatana. Yes. Senator Gloria, acquaint yourself with the standing orders. The member is on a point of order. All these members who are speaking on the Shakahola are doing so on the platform of a point of order. So you cannot draw a point of order on a point of order. Proceed. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, so it is not abnormal, and all of us know here, Mr. Speaker, that you can travel even outside the country, pay for your own accommodation, and later on make arrangements for claims because procurement procedures either delay or, in fact, exchequer releases are delayed. Mr. Speaker, for someone to say that we haven't done this witness or the other, therefore the committee has failed, that is okay. That is a genuine thing. But for someone to crucify a public... Mr. Speaker, protects me from Gerarge. Senator Mutenda, kindly give your chairman an opportunity to vindicate the... So, Mr. Speaker, I'm saying... If we fail in our duty, it is in the place of this house that has sent us out to come and castigate us. But if we have gone beyond, up and beyond our call of duty, Mr. Speaker, it is in the place of this house to support us. Unless you have a hidden agenda, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Unless you have a hidden agenda. Mr. Speaker... I want people to see, and senators, honorable senators, to see that there were serious allegations that graveyards existed in that new life center, that a mortuary existed in that new life center, that the ideology of starvation of people to death so that they can meet Christ existed in that new life center. Mr. Speaker, if the committee goes out of its way to just see this is where the graveyard is supposed to be, the facts are established that, in fact, this is a construction site. We go to the mortuary, the alleged mortuary. We are seeing this is, in fact, the center of distribution for energy. Mr. Speaker, we are taken Senator, to... Senator Mungatan. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Do not discuss the contents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I, and I, I thank you for your guidance. But I want to also tell Bonnie Kalwale, my, my colleague here, Senator, and a friend of mine, that the hours we spent in DCI, Mr. Speaker, I can assure you, and you will read it from the national, the, 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 the report we shall file, the national a forensic laboratory that is under the Directorate of Criminal Investigation has been frustrated beyond even performance by the very people who are sponsoring this negativity because they know the bombshells we are going to lay on this house. And Mr. Speaker, they know. That's why they are sponsoring negative articles to divert attention. But Mr. Speaker, tell them and tell the executive arm of government that no matter how hard they try to hide, we shall expose them for who they are, for how they failed the people of Kenya. And it doesn't matter whether you send the government whip here or you send whoever, we shall expose you. And that report, that report, Mr. Speaker, is going to change the way things operate. We are saying this, Mr. Speaker. We are saying that if it is good for the country to know 
what is happening in DCI? What is happening where alleged graves are? What is happening in the District Security Committee of Kilifi, Mr. Speaker? And it will cost us nothing but time and then we have to come back and make our claims, Mr. Speaker. Even today, we will go. In fact, yesterday, Mr. Speaker, we had summoned Mackenzie himself to come before the committee. And this committee, Mr. Speaker, we had no budget to go. No budget to go. But what we had, Senator, we were asking, Mr. Speaker, just I'm concluding, Mr. Speaker. I'll give you more time if I don't conclude. Yes. Senator Mungatana. Yes, my lord. Uh, I can see you are veering off the point of order that has been raised. Senator Boni raised a point of order based on our own standing orders. And one of the things he said is, before any standing committee of the Senate sits with him or without the presence of Parliament, there are certain procedures that was supposed to be followed, okay? And there's some very critical secretariat personnel that would accompany that particular committee. I thought you'd restrict yourself to that. The I shock waves in that report, please keep it, leave it in that report. To Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me, let, me, let me just finish what I'm saying and then I address my... Mr. Speaker, the point of the matter is that Senator Kalwale has misinformed this House that the, 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 that, that pastor was in fact out on bail. Mr. Speaker, we had the lawyers. The, the person has been held by police, but there are no charges that have been presented, Mr. Speaker. These are the facts. So it would be good not to anticipate debate. Wait for the report. The report is going to come here on Thursday. But to address that particular issue that uh, we were supposed to follow procedures, Mr. Speaker, we did. We asked the, 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 the clerk uh, of our committee. We also communicated to the clerk of the Senate. The timings, Mr. Speaker, were restrictive. But the information that was required, Mr. Speaker, in fact, the committee had said, before we can sign any report, there are some critical witnesses that must be there, including